I got here, I'm at Gatwick at the moment, still waiting for my flight and got through security and they knew nothing about a Qurban and I was just like what? First of all, when they pulled us aside I was like okay that's normal, Gona goes off as well and um, so I go through security and they're like oh yeah you can't take your Qurban and I'm not even kidding, my Qurban isn't even that big, it's tiny. This is such a bad beginning of this trip, like I thought this trip would actually be really good but from the looks of it, things are going downhill from like the very first minute. A Qurban is someone thousands of Sikhs have and thousands of Sikhs to carry and they were like, oh no, shop. And I'm like, I physically asked the head of security at Heathrow if this was allowed and they were like, as long as it's a certain length, which is, which my Qurban met the length, they're like, oh, it's fine, you should have no issues. This happened at 12 o'clock and I was having a huge panic attack because this has never happened to me. But seriously, get work. You, you need to step step up your game big time. I'm, I'm not even joking when I say that. Went through the scanner, told one of them, I was like, well, basically, it's beeping off because I've got a good fan on. And they were like, what's, it? what's that? And I'm like, it's a ceremonial sword. And they were like, right. And I'm like, yeah, so baptized Sikhs must carry this around with them. It's part of who they are and who, their uniform. And they just looked at me with like blank faces on so like right. Okay. And then they got another staff member, okay, two of them, okay, I was trying to explain the whole situation to them. And they were like, Oh, we've never had this before, like what is this? We we don't even know. And I'm just like, like you, you don't know. There's there's so many seats and you don't know. So when I was explaining that, another Another staff member came in and there was a good five, six of them around me and I was still outside where they have this metal detector scanners and I was still st stood outside there and everyone was there and I was just uh, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I was so intimidated that I was, I was in a like, place where there's freedom of speech, there's like freedom of religion and all this. And yet, everyone just looked at me with blank faces and obviously being intimidated, it's a horrible feeling. And that's another issue. What if someone that doesn't know English went, went through all this? How, how would they cope? Because it's, it's not an easy situation to go through. It, me, I'm not a terrorist, okay? She just pushed us away in, and the way and the tone she said it in, I was disgusted. I was like, going through such a sensitive topic and you all of a sudden saying oh yeah you know you can't take your shoes because you could put anything in the trays in that time of two seconds when I'm picking up my shoes I'm telling them but then if there's hard proof evidence on the internet they'll probably understand better and they wouldn't give me my phone right it happens that the manager comes in and says oh yeah I've asked my senior and he said oh it's unacceptable you know, like, to be honest, the airport, Gatwick Airport does not, not know anything about Sikhism. They, 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 they don't know what Sikhi is, they don't know what Sikhs are, they don't know who they are, they don't know anything about them. And I actually ended up tearing up because I was under so much stress all of a sudden that I physically didn't know what to do. I had no phone, I had my aunt with me, fair enough, but going through all that, like all of a sudden, it's not, it's not easy. I'm telling them to teach ABC of Sikhism, that's it, basically ABC, that's all you need to know. Obviously, if they can teach more, that's amazing, but I need them to teach something about Sikhs, because if this is the first time it's happened to me, there's another 100 people, 200,000 people behind me that might even go through the same thing again. And during a time when there's so much conflict over religion, over politics, and so many people are being targeted, and so much hate crime, how can you not be so open and train your staff? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.